Did I start? Okay. Hey beanies! Today we're gonna show you how to wash your own beanie boo. We did do a video on this kind of a how to make a beanie bath kit. Kit, sorry. But today I'm gonna show you how to actually wash your beanie boo. Super simple. All you're gonna need is beanie boo, a towel, a toothbrush or any type of brush. Toothbrush is better because it's smaller and it's kind of like a beanie boo toothbrush. Somewhere to put your beanie boo in. Some conditioner and some shampoo and some water which is right here we are in the bathroom you are gonna need these things so let's get started you are going to start by taking your bowl and actually putting some hot water not too hot just a bit just warm water that'll be much better once it's about like kind of like half full or so like a less than half full your container you're gonna add some soap this will add bubbles and help clean your beanie boo much easier just gonna put it over here Oop. not too much so you don't need that much but you can wash like two or three beanie boos in the same bath and that's what we're gonna do to not waste water now keep on filling it up so there's lots of bubbles. You can see right there. Bubbles. Mm. Okay, that's a lot of water. How about let's turn that off? Now start by having your beanie boo have a bath. And now, ugh, I can't swim. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh my god. I'm gonna need a bit of help here. So here you're gonna do. Start by wetting your beanie boo. And the warm water will help a lot with your beanie boo. With your beanie boo and start brushing. The soap that's already in here is gonna help clean the fur. All you're gonna do is scrub it. Under the armpits. Hee hee hee, that tickles. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> that tickles. Next armpit. Good. You wanna brush every place very well. Your head, your tummy back of your head, your ears, right here, your your ears, all over your face, your hands, your tiny little feet, and yeah. For a normal beanie boo, this can be about two to three beanie boos. For a bigger beanie boo, this may be two to three beanie boos, like I said. For a giant beanie boo, yeah, you're gonna have to not use a little container and use a bit, and maybe just like wash it by hand. But those don't really get as dirty as much, but, you know, however you like. For a keychain, you don't actually need that much water. You can just rinse it, put some soap on under the faucet, and it'll be much easier. So now I'm going to do is, ah, I'm sinking. Help me, help me. <laughs> Beanie boots, help me. I can't breathe. <gasps> help me. Beanie, what are you doing? I'm sinking you can stand in the water it's not that bad really oh you're right i can stand in it look never mind i'm not sinking anymore bye okay where were we oh yeah once your baby is all wet start to rub it with your hands this way it will help kind of remove a bit of water kind of like this you want to remove a lot of the water that's inside if not it will dry it will take a long time to dry once we left a bunch of water inside the beanie boo inside of me and it, i took almost a week to dry and you don't want to take um the other day we washed blossom using this method and she did dry overnight here she is see i look the same and i'm just as fluffy okay. so yeah so you're gonna need a do this a long for a long time. You can always wash us in the washing machine, but we don't really like it as beanie was, but you can do it. Just don't put us in the dryer. Because you can tell the story while I wash myself. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the story. So it was when they first got me and I wasn't I went to the dryer um because they were gonna dry me off with all the clothes. And I do you know the beanie boo lavender? Yeah. My fur it turned into that and it was it took a, and it got ruined my fur. Now I'm not that soft anymore. I'm just puffy. I'm just like a giant 
cooked well. Oh, that made me so sad. But, um, Beanie Boots Club actually helped me, and yeah, it's really nice. Thank you. So, after dampening your Beanie Boo, just gonna remove all of that. And this is a bunch of the studs that are in it. All you're gonna do is remove all of that. Put your Beanie Boo back in there. I'm gonna dry my hands. The towel's right here. I'm gonna dry your hands. And you're gonna take a bit of your conditioner. Just a little bit, like this. Less than this, actually. So you are gonna need shampoo as well. Just like a normal hair, you need both of these. Then it will just help keep your... This one helps keep your beanie boots off. This one keeps it fluffy. And both of these have these... Make the beanie boots more nice. So yeah. You can rub it in your hands. And start to rub your beanie boo in it. Oh, I already feel soft. You do? Yep. I feel really soft. So you're gonna do that to your Gibu. And he's like a little baby. <laughs> it's really squishy and you can always form your beanie boo into different shapes. Look, like you can put bamboo's ears back, make them all skinny. It doesn't look that different on camera, but in reality, he's very skinny now. Let me just squish all that soap out. Look at all that soap that comes out. Yeah, that's a lot of soap. So after that, you're just gonna Use your brush and brush your beanie bow all over. And then just kind of keep on removing the soap. Once you brush your entire beanie bow, rinse it off over the faucet with cold water. Cold, cold, cold water, cold water, cold water, cold water. This will help the fur be much stronger and kind of like real hair. Um, it will, the warm water kind of that won't damage it. It will clean, only that the cold will also help the softness. So yeah, just gonna keep on doing that. Just removing all this. Look how much soap is in here. Ah, soap balls. I can make soap balls. Oh, that's so much soap. Okay, I'm just gonna keep on doing that, and then you're gonna rinse it over. Again, cold water. Cold water! Oh my god, it's so cold. Okay. So once you've washed the beanie whip, you're gonna kind of make sure to clean it so that there's no soap on it. You're gonna keep on doing this. Keep on brushing it. Like this. After brushing your beanie bowl all over, I'm just gonna brush the beanie bowl a bit more. It's stummy and everywhere. Um, you're gonna just kind of remove all that extra water. Just like that, kind of like squishing it. Squish it a little bit, and it's fun to kind of like shape it. Look! <laughs> Look at bamboo, just like a little white ball, no ears. It looks so cute. So after that, you just gonna keep on doing that and rinse it off a bit. Whoop, 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 whoop. Then just kind of squish your beanie boo. Look at that. And this will help a lot of beanie boos if they are very stressed. Just so you know, this is kind of like a beanie boo massage. Just gonna do that. And I'm gonna kind of remove this. It's much easier, don't worry. I'll clean this. Um, just gonna rinse it under cold water again. You, again, you can always wash your beanie boo in the washer. But don't put them in the dryer. And yeah, I'm kind of shaking because it's cold. And you're gonna just remove all that water. And as you can see, I am making a mess. So I'm gonna have to clean that. Be right back. Let me just clean that. Okay, after cleaning, you can always wash your beanie boo with baking soda like we did in our first video. And that will also help like keep the fur nice and soft. But you don't have to. We just sometimes do it. We ran out of baking soda. That's why we're not gonna do it, but you don't we don't have to, it's optional. So just gonna keep on washing your beanie boos and then I'm just gonna put it under like wash it again normal water doesn't matter it's cold or hot and doesn't matter just gonna squeeze your beanie boo remove all that extra water and so so once you've done that you're gonna take your brush make sure it's clean and make sure this is a big bowl because 
And you, at first you don't put too much water because if not it's going to fill, overfill. You want to just, just brush the beanie bit. Until you look kind of like your entire body looks all fluffy. After brushing your beanie boo completely, grab your towel and kind of cover him. Okay, cover the beanie boo so it's nice and warm. Remove all that extra water so it's nice and dry. And now you're going to leave it by a window or by the heater um, so it can dry. You can always use a hair dryer. Only every time you, every few seconds when you hair dry it, you're just going to need to brush the beanie boo so it's nice and soft. But we're not going to use that. We're going to wait overnight properly. So yeah, we'll see you in a few hours. We're going to wash other beanie boos and yeah. Hey guys, so um, it's been about four hours and the beavers are dry. I already brushed uh, speckles and cocoon. All you're gonna really have to do is brush your beaver like this. And however you like, brush the entire beaver until they're soft again. I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back because I need my two hands. I'm holding my camera or my tablet more. more um, with my other hand and I needed two hands to do that, so I'll be right back. Okay, I am watching TV. But let me just do this and really quickly. So this is how I look. I look just like in the beginning. And now I smell really nice. But, um, ooh, nice, I smell really nice. Um, and I'm not using cologne. So yeah. Um, this really works and is really quick. It's only been like a few hours. Um, but I'm not going to show you that it takes that long. You usually, it can take more than four hours, so be aware of that. Super easy, and your beanie boo smells nice, but I suggest doing this like once a month, or not even a month, like once every two months, or like at least three times a year. But that's when your beanie boo's first all like dirty and stuff. When they're new, um, you don't have to do that, only when they're really dirty, just like, or smelling really bad. So there is a little kid here, um, and I'm gonna have to cut you short, but thanks for watching. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe and like, like, on the video, and yeah, I, I'll see you next video, bye. Now let me...